Welcome back, everybody. Take a break with Stephen. Stephen Seamus. Good to see you, my friend. This is the first time I've seen you since your wedding. Yes. I am Are you a wearing your ring. Are you wearing your ring? Of course. Wow. I sleep with big it because I will I will definitely lose it if I don't. If I don't leave you're it big, on forever. You're a big shot. Big shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got the bling. <laughs> when are you guys going away? Probably not for a while. Uh the 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 Star Wars Star Cruiser um hotel opens up listing soon. So you know, we'll see. We'll see if I can get in. And what's the story behind someone's getting married? That song. It's from the Muppets. That's it. I know that's from the Muppets. That's just from the Muppets. I, I decided that I that turned, was a great song to come out. I turned to Marlene. I'm like, I think that's the Muppets song. <laughs> Were you surprised that we had a Muppet nah. song in our, in our nah, professional? Nah. Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. What do we got today, Alex? Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to hit a little bit more Marvel stuff. So we're going to talk Star Fox, mm-hmm. Camila Black, who, who is a, a, a very newer character that people might not mm-hmm. know of. Um, we're going to talk Blade, and we're going to talk about a special that aired on CBS on the Disney Channel. Um, Marvel celebrates Stan Lee. Lee. I always thought I'd be a great novelist. I never thought I'd write comics. Hollywood assembles to honor a legend. You don't get to the Marvel Universe without Stan Lee. Celebrating Marvel's Stan Lee, Friday on ABC. Because there, there was a free promo in that, in that I know. giveaway. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so what do you got first, Alex? Yeah, let's talk, let's talk about Star Fox. Eros. Okay, I don't want to give away spoilers yet because it's. Mm, I don't know if. Yeah, I think yeah. it's on. I think people know that there's that who who the who's being played by him, even though the movie's not out yet. Right. I think okay. Got it. Yeah. So uh, everything exploded. Uh, it's still in its new phase right now. Yes. I actually had a good friend last week say to me, Stephen, I'm making a lot of money watching your shows every week. I'm like, that's the point. <laughs> you're that's welcome. The point. I'm like, you watch you watch the shows. You you know what's going on. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the books just shot up like a, a rocket ship. And there's yep. some other issues in there that I think people are not aware about yet, aware of yet. And uh, some of them have really, really exploded. So, yep. Alex, why don't you talk a little bit about Star Fox, the Eternals and uh, and what's going on? Yeah. So one of one of the Jonas Brothers. Uh, is it a Jonas Brother? No, no. It's uh, one of the. Um, what is his Henry's, name? Harry Styles. Harry Styles. Harry Styles. I, I get them all. In my old age, you know, all these all these young young guys look alike to me. Um, Harry Styles is confirmed to be playing Star Fox in the Eternals movie. And a lot of people don't know, but Star Fox or Eros is the brother of Thanos. So this is tying very heavily into the Marvel Universe, where I think a lot of people thought that maybe the Eternals movie was going to be like a very standalone movie and then would slowly meld in. But with Star Fox being in there, it's going to knock things up a, a bunch. And Star Fox isn't a big character in the Marvel Universe now. He's played a role. He's been on the Avengers. You know, he's been around, but he's not as big as Thanos has or is. So it's very interesting to see that these books are going crazy right now. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's start with uh, Captain Marvel number 27 from July of 73. You're talking about very, very low pop books here, yes, Alex. Very low. Uh, Thanos, Star Fox, uh, Mentor, Death, Super Scroll, and Avengers appearances. Drax cameo. It's a Jim Starlin story. No surprise. Right. A uh, Jim Starlin cover. Uh, there are seven blue label, one gold label, nine eight. Thirty two blue label, two gold label, nine six. Forty four blue label, four gold label, nine four. This book is a $3,500 book in 9.6 and wow. a $2,500 book in 9.4. So this book is already expensive. Yeah, that's that's high. Right. Then you have Captain Marvel number 29, November of 73, 21 blue label, one gold label, 9.8, 40 blue label, six gold label, 9.6s, 54 blue label, seven gold label, 9.4s. That's a $360 book in 9.6. I haven't been able to see any 9.8s. Very low pop. Yeah. Again, Thanos tracks and controller cameo. Uh, Jim Starlin's story. Then it skips to Captain Marvel number 31, March of 74. Again, these are all low pop books, Alex. Very, yeah. 22 blue label, zero gold label, 98. 72 blue label, seven gold label, 96. 71 blue label, eight gold label, 94. That's about a $700 book in a 98. Avengers, Drax, Moon Dragon, Star Fox, Mentor, Thanos, and Death <laughs> Appearances, which again, Jim Starlin. Uh, then you, you start to get in some other interesting books. Uh, Warlock number 12, April yep. of 76, 
61 blue label, four gold label 9.8. 66 blue label, five gold label, nine, six. That's about a $200 book in nine, six. The Warlock stuff is also taking off. It's something we've talked Definitely. about in the past. We yep. don't have to rehash it. Um, uh, Will, Will, uh, Will Poulter, what's his name? Yeah, Will Poulter. Yeah, Will Poulter, Will, yeah. Yeah, Will Poulter, yeah. Uh, Pippin, Star Fox appearance. Okay, Captain Marvel number 58. Jumping. September yep. of 78. 10 blue label. I'm not going to go into gold labels on these. There's very few gold labels. Yeah. 10 blue label, nine, eights. 14 blue label nine sixes, four blue label nine fours. It's a $15 raw book. The total pop on CGC is 38, the entire yes. pop. So what's going to start happening Very is everyone's going to go into their back issue bins yep. and try to get nine fours, nine sixes, and nine eights. Okay, yep. Captain Marvel number 61 is a $30 raw book, total pop of 39. 19 blue label nine eights, 14 blue label nine sixes, three blue label nine fours. Again, a very, very low pop. Then Avengers number 230, April of 83, 15 blue label 98s, 15 gold label 96s. I'm sorry, 15 blue label 96s, six blue label 94s. It's about a $100 book in 96. Yellow Jacket leaves the Avengers. Uh, total pop 45. I believe you're, you're looking at cameos in these books. Yeah. Uh, Avengers 231, May of 83, a month later, 27 blue label 98s, eight. Blue label nine sixes, uh, four blue label nine fours, total pop of 45. Okay. That's, and that's about a $100 book. Now is the key issue. And yep. I want you to talk about this. This is the book that everybody's chasing, Alex. This is the, this is the monster. Avengers 232, June of 83, 47 blue label nine eights, 21 blue label nine sixes, seven blue label nine fours, three blue label nine twos. It's a total pop of 84. Those books have been skyrocketing. Those are yeah. up to a thousand dollars in nine, eight, fifteen hundred dollars in newsstands, 150 plus, plus, plus nine, six. Eros is named Star Fox and joins the Avengers. What is going on here, Alex? That's the book. I mean, that's, this is, I mean, Star Fox is, like you said, he's in some books, but a lot of Eternals are in a lot of books. You know, there's a lot of Eternals out there. And, you know, this is kind of where you cement Star Fox as a hero in the Marvel Universe. And then he be, he's in the Avengers books and he joins, you know, he's, he's in the books. He, he's he's in Infinity Watch. He's, he's doing all this, all this stuff. This is Thanos' brother. You know, his powers are a little weird. They're like uh, creepy powers because he can he can control people or people's like he can calm people down. He can give them he can control their pleasure like he could make them euphoric. Um um, he, that was used in like the fun She-Hulk books from Dan Slott. But like, this is it. This is where Star Fox, this is where he becomes more of just like a side character in the Turtles. Um, but more than likely, he's going to have a big, big role in the future Marvel stuff, especially with the Marvel's movie that that is slated. You know, that's going to be we're, we're looking at lots of space stuff now. I think we've, we've, we're done with stuff on Earth. I think it's a lot more space stuff coming. Right. Right. Okay. And then a couple of other key issues, Marvel team up number 143 uh, with Star Fox, uh, July of 84, 17 blue label nine eights, 10 blue label nine sixes, one blue label nine four. Again, total pop of 35. It's about $125 and nine six. And Avengers number 248, October of 84, 28 blue label nine eights, 14 blue label nine sixes, six blue label nine fours. That's about 150 to $200 book. Not Eternals bad. appearances in there as well. So total pop of 60 on that book. So wow. the real key is Avengers 232, which you can probably still pull out of boxes somewhere. Yep. 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 Not a hard book. So. 80s, 80s Avengers is pretty easy to find. Yeah. What do we got next, Alex? Carmia Black. I believe okay. I said that correctly. These books have started to go crazy, <laughs> Alex, like everything else. Everything else. Who, everything who's else. Carmilla Black? What's going on? She, she is a modern incarnation of the Scorpion. She has Scorpion-like powers. She has a. Uh, she can um, toxins come out of her hand. She has a gauntlet that can control them. She is a, uh, a, a, a an experiment by her parents who worked for AIM, um, and she was you know joined Shield to fight against them. But you know, again, we we talked about it. We're seeing a lot of these modern characters are ariana um from amazing fantasy this this newer run of amazing amazing fantasy stuff uh anything that's a new character i think is getting picked up because you just don't know the miles morales fever is still very very strong people are picking up everything of these new new incarnations of 
uh, original characters. And this is one of them. Right. Okay. So uh, Amazing Fantasy number seven from June of 2005. Again, it's 16 years old. This book yeah, yeah. It's hard to believe. seems new, but it's not. Yeah. Uh, there is no gold labels uh, at the top. So uh, 34 blue label nine eights, 28 blue label nine sixes, 18 blue label nine fours. First appearance of Carmilla Black, uh, Fred Van Lente story, Leonard Kirk and John, Jonathan Clappy on art. Jane, oh, it's also, these have James Jean covers, James by James the way. James covers, very rare. Which is Marvel. probably also driving the price. Oh, that's what I meant. I meant to tell you that. Yeah. A uh, total yeah. pop of 95 on Amazing Fantasy 15. Uh, $350 in 9.8, $75 raw. You can't find these books out. Wow. Hot. Yeah. Uh, and the James Jean stuff is always popular. Yeah, totally. Uh, then you have Amazing Fantasy number eight, second appearance, uh, July of 2005, eight blue label nine eights, one gold label nine six. That's about a $10 raw book, total pop of nine. Wow, that's extremely low for a modern book. Yeah, James Jean cover. And I, I thought you would think that some James Jean fans would have just gotten some books, yeah. right? Uh, Amazing Fantasy number nine, uh, August of 2005, two blue label 9.8s. That's a 10 to $15 raw book. Again, James Jean cover, total pop of two. These are books you can probably find in back issue bins. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right. Alex's pick of the week. What do you got for us, Alex? Uh, I'm going to discuss something that may, you might have more information on. Um, we talk about CGC all the time, but I, I think we're leaving out that there are other grading services and another really good one is CBCS. I think CBCS has been, you know, it, it's a little under the radar. I think people are, are starting to use it more now that CGC is kind of backed up. Um, very, very light on the, you know, uh, on people kind of like, complaining or guffawing on like their grading the grading's been very solid steve barack who's in charge of the company is like he's the man like he, steve knows what he's doing he's, he knows what's going on Ta uh beckett i believe they're partners now i mean this is a i think if you are don't want to wait your 10 months to get your books back i think cbcs is a solid option you know they were at new york comic-con in artist alley they're taking submissions at shows they're they're witnessing services are really good and at, right now they're the only people that'll take a comic and um if it's got a signature on it they'll verify it for you i mean that's that's rare uh, cgc is not doing that yeah they use the beckoning uh, service to do right? that um yeah so uh i've known steve for 20 some odd years he actually was the one who started at cgc when right. he first started back in oh my god 97 98 i can't remember maybe it was 2000 <laughs> i can't remember um so yes so uh steve's a good long time friend cbcs the uh the grading is very consistent i just think yes. that cgc has the inertia Right. The, uh, they have the pop, you know, they, they've seeded the market over all these years. I mean, they're CBCS the only ones in the game for, for what? For 15, 20 years. 20 yeah. years? Yeah. 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 Almost 20 years. Yeah. I hear you. All right, cool. All right, Alice, this next book is very, very interesting. What are we talking about? I had a copy, but the Marvel celebration. No, you didn't. Stanley. Did you really? Yes. And I sold it. What'd you as do with soon it? As soon as I got rid of it. I got rid of How it. How much you sell it for? About half of what they're going for now. Ah, that's it's, terrible, it's good money. It? it was good money. Um, but there was a there was a a, a special cel uh, called Mar Marvel Celebrate Stan Lee. Um, people, a lot of people got uh, invites. Uh, a lot of industry folks. Um, and it was a televised event where they you had uh, celebrities. They had um, comic creators. Uh, it was around New York Comic Con, so it was you know the last I think I believe 2019 was the last New York Comic Con before this past one. Uh, and they filmed it, and at the end when everybody was leaving they were giving out comic books and these comic books was it's a it's a new cover of a stanley memorial comic so it's it's the comic i believe has already was already printed it might have it might have had some extra stuff in it but it's a brand new cover and you could only get them at the marvel celebrate stanley event right oh well this book is rare um so Very marvel rare. celebrate stanley like you said october of 2019 uh, I was distributed at the Marvel Celebrate Stan Lee event held, the, held at the new Amsterdam Theater uh, during New York Comic Con. has an Adam Kubert cover, um, 33 blue label 9.8s, 14 blue label 9.6s, and seven blue label 9.4s. It's about a $1,275 book in 9.8, but they're going up. I've seen them as high as 2000 and they are $900 to $1,100 raw. Oh. So you just can't even find that book. Oh boy, I might I might have my program. I wonder how much the program goes for. I can probably probably not very probably not very much. Probably not very much. <laughs> no, probably not. All right, all right. What what's what are we closing up shop here with today, Alex? 
uh, our favorite vampire hunter, Blade, who has gotten some yeah. well-deserved resurgence lately. Uh, obviously, in anticipation of the film next year. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, what, what Sony's universe is going to look like. Uh, so this, this one is uh, uh, going to be very, very popular. Yes. Um, this is the Sony universe, right? No, Marvel. MCU. Oh, it's Marvel universe. It's Sorry. MCU. Yeah. Yeah. My mistake. Yep. Okay, good. All right, and there's uh, some, my, you know. Sony's going to have their own crazy And by the way, Mahesh, Mahesh Ali is going to be I'm, unbelievable. Yeah, he's, he's great. He's the best. He's great. He's great. Uh, okay. Blade, the, uh, so the, the stuff is going crazy. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about Blade, Wesley Snipes, and uh, Mahashara Ali. I mean, nothing, I don't think we need to discuss Mahashara Ali's uh, film history or how good of an actor he is. He is one of the best in the industry. And I think you know, you know Blade is a character that means a lot to a lot of people when he specifically went out to contact Marvel Studios and was like, hey, if you guys are going to do this, I want in, I want in, I want in. Uh, and that's because Wesley Snipes and, you know, the or very early Marvel Studios stuff, you know, took this not unknown character, but a character that wasn't popular. I mean, I read comics. I knew who Blade was. I knew nothing about him, but I knew who Blade was before the movie came out. And then those movies were huge without the blade movies we wouldn't have the mcu we just wouldn't yeah, it, funny, it, it right? wouldn't be there they would no one would take that gamble like they did um and he's just he's a vampire hunter he's got he's got some vampire powers he but he's not like he doesn't have their negative sides of like crosses and silver and uh being out in the at, and during the daytime and he's just been around forever another marv wolfman character marv wolfman needs some kind of trophy for creating so many characters that are now making millions of dollars in movies and TV. Um, but I mean, again, this character has been around forever. Wesley Snipes really took him, took him to the next level. And I think after the first Blade movie, Tomb of Dracula, th th one of those, those books are, have always been a hot book. You cannot not sell yeah. to So, so you're, you're going to, you're going to laugh. I, we're going to, we're going to talk about Tomb of Dracula and we're going to talk about fear a little bit. Yep. Um, but there's, there's two, yeah. Fear, fear and Blade number one. There's two books that have gone crazy, but they're not really short printed. But anyway, right. Marvel Tomb of Dracula, number 10, July of 73. Uh, we're just going to talk about blue labels here. 48 blue label 98s. Those are going to be a fortune. Yes. 120 blue label 96s. 210 blue label 94s and 244 blue label 9.2s. It's about an $8,800 book in 9.6. I, I don't even want to mm. speculate what a 9.8. 9.8 could be 30, 40, 50,000. Yeah. A 9.6 is about, um, I'm sorry. Yeah. 9.6 is about 8,800. 6,300 and 9.2, 3,700 and 9.0. Wow. You can find some nice 7.75s seven with uh, white, 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 off white pages. Uh, there's also a very rare UK price variant. Yeah. That one we've already known about. That is the first appearance of Blade, Marv Wolfman's story, uh, Gil Kane, Tom uh, Palmer cover. Okay. Here's the next two uh, yes. that are been on fire. Yes. Uh, Fear number 24, October of 74. It's the first time Blade fought Morbius and you have the Morbius movie coming out. Right. That right. book it's is a shot double up. Double book. Yep. That book is shot up. Uh, 10 blue label 98s, 23 blue label 96s, 22 blue label 94s, and 18 blue label 9.2s. That's about a $35 to $50 book raw. That is a hot book right now. People yes. want that book. It's got a Gil Kane with John Romita senior cover. Yep. Um, so here's the one that you're going to laugh at. Okay. <laughs> Blade number one, July of 94. This book epitomized, yes. epitomized yep. the overproduction of the 90s. Holochrome cover. Yep. Logo. Embossed. Okay. Embossed. Yep. Embossed. Yep. Right. Ian, Ian Edgington story, Doug Wheatley and Chris Ivey cover. There's 103 blue label 98s. Those books are selling for five hundred dollars. Oh my goodness! Now they printed a boatload of yeah, this those, book. Those are those are in that's again. You go to the Koch warehouse. You go to you go to Chuck from my eye. He's got a case somewhere. Someone's got a case somewhere. They have to. Those were books that I remember being in the store. Yeah. That we are those the holochrome covers. But yeah. you know what happened is they were probably kicking around in dollar boxes for twenty years. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. And they can't find them. You want to, I'm sure you can find seven O's all day long. Again, they're probably still in dollar boxes, but a nine, eight. Nope. Yeah. To me, that's going to be like that Batman 423, but we have that Batman 436 or four, that book where it's like in nine, eight, they're 500 in yeah. nine, six, they're 125. And in nine, four, they're basically like 50 bucks. Like you that's, put, you that's can do, that, use them as door stops. Yeah. Exactly. Like that's what it's going to be. Exactly. Uh, all right. All right, cool. All right, Alex, it's another great show. If you have any questions, comments, you think we missed anything, you'd like to give us some feedback. Thank you for joining us to get today. We will see everybody next week. Same bad time. 
Name that channel. See you later.